Hello Earth Angels and welcome to another Sims 4 video. If you are new here, then it's just welcome. My name is Vanna and today we are building an all-gay nightclub. This all-inclusivity nightclub was made for Pride Month, but obviously we're out of Pride Month. It took me a while to edit it and there's never a specific time to celebrate love. So we are posting it now and everything's fine. <laughs> With this nightclub, I wanted it obviously to be mostly dark minus the rainbow colors. I wanted to go with the typical pride flag though i do put almost all the flags in this building i really wanted it to just be a place that seems kind of fun that your sims can go to that's really colorful but without strobe lights because uh, we don't want seizures so <laughs> it's just very colorful very brightly lit and i think it came out really nice so as you see here this is me working the floor plan we have an upstairs and a downstairs and i later will add another upstairs i wanted it to kind of have not only a space for the dance floor but kind of a private area for like vip lounge vip personnel in a sense we also needed of course bathrooms and places to eat and just sit and stuff because it's it's a nightclub slash lounge thing so you you want to be able to sit especially when you have some drunkies sit your ass down and drink your water carol you're done this is one of my first time building something like this i think it came out really well for that and of course i decided to use curved rooms to curse myself so there's that but this is me working on the VIP area. So I did put the VIP door. You have to be a three-star celebrity to come in here. I also have the lot trait bouncer on here. So there should be some bodyguards upon the wall. But I wanted this to have windows, but to be covered up because I want this to be a very private area. So I put some of these booths here. Well, I ended up using Dream Home Decorator. Yeah, the sectionals and putting those here. In every room, I kind of made it very colorful. I mean, that was kind of the point, right? Wanted to show pride. So I used a bunch of different colors not just the regular rainbow colors but I added pinks and whatever I could really add in there I wanted this to kind of be separated off so when I started this it kind of was making me think of a little bit of a an SFW room type of thing um, if you know what I mean but then I was like okay well I mean it's not really super covered and there's like two TVs here so what could this be and I kind of thought of it as like bottle service people like when the employees who are servers hang out with like really higher up customers so very rainbow in here two separate areas two separate spaces that I think could be covered up a little bit more with those curtains if you just pull them across but you have to pay a lot of money to be in here and you have to be the best of the best if you know what I mean that did sound a little sus but it's nothing sinister I promise okay the best of the best as in you have a lot of money yeah, let me stop talking about this. So you see, I put these rainbow counters in here. And honestly, this there's just a lot of rainbow in here. I just thought it was really, really cute and really fun, especially in comparison to everything being black. And then you have these really brightly colored rainbow everything. So we put these strip lights in so many areas of this place, to be honest, almost all of them. A lot of neon lights, a lot of neon colors. And I did them in the rainbow colors just to add more... I don't know kind of like contrast again all the color against this black i think really is what brought this place to life and makes it look really fun like i would love to go here as long as there's no strobe lights i really can't do with the flashing but <laughs> We're gonna hope that there's none here. But this area, again, something very simple. I put some tissues and so, okay, this area is sus. Yes, it is intentionally sus. It, shh, we're not gonna talk about it. But then I put these tables here with these bottles on top and you know, maybe it makes it a little, a little less sus. Not really, not really. Cause why are there tissues there? But so be it. In this little corner, I wanted there to be like a sign in book or maybe like a book where all the most fanciest guests come here or whatever. So I put this little journal here and then I put a little seat here because there is bouncers here that have to make sure people are the right people entering <laughs> so we put a trash can in here so anything can be thrown away that may need to be thrown away I'm so sorry it's so sketch but your mind will take you where it needs to be I guess <laughs> And then we have this little fuzzy chair that I put throughout a lot of this, and this is for the bouncer to sit. Listen, I know the area might not seem super appropriate, but I think it came together perfectly, and that's all that fucking matters, all right? All right. And then I think I just added some string lights to add some more decor, some more light. I thought I made it very pretty, very cute. We love a fairy light moment. I mean, I know I do, so I just put them all through here, and then I'm pretty sure... Oh yeah, I put these little rainbow butterflies as well, and I think that was it. Yep, I moved on. At this point, I started trying 
trying to figure out where I was gonna fit the bathrooms because I needed some bathrooms downstairs. Duh. And I was really distracted because I was watching Undercover Underage. It's a really good show. All I'm gonna say it's on HBO Max. Check it out if you are interested in people catching pedophiles. But anyway, I was trying to figure out this flooring pattern and I cut out a lot. I end up changing it again, but we went with these beautiful brightly lit rainbow tile floors and then some black tiles on the walls just so that it kept with that kind of darkened club like theme and then i put these lights again the strip lights all the way around the top i wanted there to be at least two stalls in each bathroom so you will see i kind of start figuring out the floor plan and i put two stalls in each bathroom i put two sinks in each bathroom and then a whole wall of mirrors it took me a minute to kind of figure out how i wanted this to lay out the space wasn't fitting exactly how i wanted it to but eventually it all came together and i think it looks really really cute but throughout a lot of this build i was very distracted because i was just watching either people stream or tv and it was kind of really fun just to kind of do that and make this build and try to figure out my thought process so this is why this is a speed build <laughs> I sat here and fiddled with this floor plan for so long. I knew for a fact I wanted a trash can in both of these bathrooms and I wanted to use the paper towel dispenser and the hand sanitizer or soap inky from Get to Work, but I just couldn't figure out the layout. But I ended up changing the big mirror to these cute little fancy ones. And then I finally got rid of that corner piece. I tried to make that corner piece work so much and it just, it just wasn't working. So I finally got rid of it. And then I was gonna do each of these lights individually, but that was also a pain in the ass because for some reason the curved walls was just making it so hard to click on these lights even though this room doesn't have curved walls but i just said fuck it and then i made it pink and at this point i went to the outside because i realized i hadn't done anything on the outside so i started to go with just black trim because most of the nightclubs that i was seeing has a bunch of black trim i have not been to a nightclub we're not going to talk about it and then i wanted it to have like this cutesy feel to it though like i wanted it to feel very loving and welcoming so i put this flower fence around the outdoor seating area which is what that will be and then i put this cute red brick at the bottom because i didn't want it all black i just thought the red looked nice so this is me working on the patio and this is the basically dining area i didn't have much space to put this on the bottom floor so i put a bunch of different floors down and then i decided on these little tiny bar looking tables i made them all this cute gold and like marbly white color and then i put these fuzzy chairs in different rainbow colors all around i thought it'd be really cute to have them all kind of sitting together so i did that i jumped inside i wanted to add some more doors and windows to this area so obviously you can get out and then i just started kind of tweaking it to my liking because i just i don't know i wanted it to look different and i couldn't figure out what so i just kept playing around with it until i got to that point i then put a bar inside and i also end up later adding like a dance floor i couldn't figure out what to fill that big space with so this is just again a little downstairs area where everybody can kind of hang out and it really shows the basics of the nightclub and all of that and we have this little bar area so you can immediately get drunk and not have to worry about your problems <laughs> i end up turning everything rainbow again of course this is really like the main thing that i did and then i added these really really cool disco lights i really loved it because i love that they have the three different colors i was putting some decor and stuff on the wall but then i realized a lot of nightclubs that you see they have a lot of windows whether you can see inside them or not so i decided to end up changing all these bubbles that i put on the wall eventually i'll put some like actual windows and stuff there but i really wanted to focus this just being very colorful and very open and kind of a little bit overwhelming of a place i put this little sign on top of the door to kind of signify oh this is the bathroom and that's why there's a bunch of like tassels and just a lot of rainbow colors and kind of a lot going on because i wanted it to seem very busy so when i went outside to the porch again i put these cool neon lights that i had put inside the vip room out here changed the colors of those and then i wanted it to be a little bit more colorful out here because it was kind of dark and like who wants to eat in the dark so i put these lights in the corner we changed the colors of those of course and then i found these cool like plum bob lights that i put on each table to match the color of each table <laughs> so this is where i changed these out for windows and i put these big rainbow curtains here again i put these in here a lot i just thought they were really cute when i saw that swatch i could not not so i took this middle part of the stairs out because i wanted this back area to be a little space for the staff then i realized how small it is so don't worry i do add an extra space for them but i put this little door here and their stairwell here because i wanted there to be a little area for trash to go 
like big dumpsters and stuff without it being ugly and in the front so this is where trash is i tried putting a gate here but i couldn't find one that fit that looked nice so i just gave up and yeah this is not a good place of an exit i end up putting an exit sign over the door which is stupid because you literally cannot get out of this area but we're just we're we're gonna ignore it okay but i do put a little bathroom here so it's just one bathroom for staff to use and then they have a whole space like upstairs that they can kind of hang out and lounge in but i kind of went with like gold white and black theme for all the staff areas i wanted it to just be something different because if you're surrounded by so much color and you're working there every night i feel like you would really get annoyed and frustrated having to be around that all the time so just to get a little break where it's not so much color and so much in your face is kind of what i did here but then i just put like a little couch here and some plants and some decor just as a little space to kind of sit down and relax to be away from some of the noise if you can't go all the way upstairs or whatever may have you so this is when i add that extra little area and that's going to be the staff space up in that cube then for the landscaping i wanted to give this little rich lawn look so this is why we have the striped grass like it was mown that way and then i just put a bunch of flowers around it and there wasn't really too much i can do because the curved walls are crazy but i wanted to cover up these corners and i didn't want it to be too chaotic and crazy because i mean it's a nightclub so you don't want too much going on but yeah we just put all these like bushes on the ground and then i put these rose bushes around and then added additional like little flowers here and there just to add some color some texture one side is blue and purple the other side is pink and yellow i just thought it was cute to kind of break it up a little bit so then we go back inside and i added a window in here some curtains and this is when i start to add like the plant in the corner and all that i think i added the plant here i don't know eventually i add a plant in the corner yeah and then i just put a little plant corner outside because i always have to have a plant corner in my build because who do I look like not having a plant corner so I did take a second and I actually got a bunch of gallery art like a bunch of pride gallery art I thought it was super cute and I put them all on this upper floor so you'll see me moving them around places the ones that did not have a frame around it I just took some paranormal frames in black and I placed them like I sized them down I placed a bunch of them to make one big frame ends up looking really really cute and you will see I do this for all of the pictures I don't have frames at this point i am doing the front porch area which is the last space i have to do to finish the entire downstairs so i just put some lights again more rainbow colors and i filled this up with string lights and freaking plants so i went on and put this row of like plant lights so obviously it was bright on the porch but then i wanted to think of what i could put to really make it like special so then i did these statues from the romantic garden pack and made the female blue and the male pink for you know inclusivity then i just wanted to start adding details on the building so i put this cool little sign thing here i made a little sign of the nightclub on top and then i added a bunch of string lights all around so you will see that i just start putting stuff to kind of really make it look like a nightclub i think this is what made it look really cute and added a little bit of flair i also put some lights underneath all the bushes and the flowers just to make it light up because it was looking really dark at night so we just wanted it to look bright on the outside and that was what i attempted to do with all this light Lighting. This space right here is me trying to figure out where to put the stairs for the entryway upstairs to the little lounge area. It took me a lot of fiddling, um, but I wanted there to be stairs and obviously a bathroom area. I cut out a lot, but I ended up making the bathrooms a lot smaller than the ones downstairs. So they're personal bathrooms more so, like one person can really go in them. And then there's the little entryway for the employees to go to their upstairs area. So I was fiddling around with these bathrooms a lot. I couldn't figure out the layout. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. and. And eventually I do figure it out again it's one toilet one sink type of vibe and it's like a single toilet and stuff like that I do a lot of fiddling and then I ended up making the spaces just way smaller so they're just way tinier bathrooms I think it works a lot better and it looks a lot nicer and you'll see I have a lot more space for other items so we did just the rainbow tiling of the floor and we did the same stream of lights upstairs each bathroom turns pink and it has the literally all the same object just a single toilet instead of a big stall I end up putting some of the wall gallery art in here as well because I thought it'd be cute to have some wall art on each wall obviously um 
you know, I just wanted to use as many of these pictures that I saved everywhere as I could. So then I put these black walling everywhere. Again, the little door to signify that this is for the staff. And then I use these cool windows from, I think they're get together. And I put them on the wall. I thought it looked cool without having it being open, but it, it broke it up a little bit and it was something different. I was trying to figure out what type of table situation I wanted to put here. So I actually used these Batu tables because I liked that they looked tall but also kind of glowed a little bit and then I just put a bunch of rainbow chairs around the same fluffy ones that I used downstairs so you see I'm putting them not only on the side but in that little area I just wanted there to be enough seating for every place this back area I decided would be our dance floor area so I do kind of section it off a bit in terms of how dark this area will be not just the type of lighting that is used it took a lot of fiddling for this space because of the curved wall. I tried my freaking best. It was just so difficult. Same thing with the lights. I wanted these lights to be perfect. As you see, I kind of just cut it all out because it took me a long time. And that one freaking white light right there that just wouldn't change was driving me insane. I was gonna do each light a different color. But again, curved walls, wasn't having it so in the end I do it all one color again and then I start bringing in more colors through the personal tables so when people are sitting here drinking or eating and they need a place to sit I put more vibrant colors and more different colors on these tables and you will see it start to come together I end up taking out two of these tables here to actually put a bar upstairs because who would want to go all the way downstairs for the bar as well sure as hell not me so you see I take those tables out I add a similar bar and a similar color scheme of the back counters behind the bar we add the drinks around as well but here is where I start putting all the flags in I really wanted to show as much inclusivity as possible I put as many flags as I could on the wall pretty much most of them I hope I put the right lesbian flag I don't know if they have per se the the one that promotes homophobia I don't think they have this flag in there but I am not 100% sure I try to look everything up to make sure that it was correct because even game people can get things wrong you know so I just wanted to make sure but I think all of it all this floor came out really cute I think it'd be really fun to be up here to hang out to go dancing to just kind of be in this area there's a lot of rainbow colors it feels very cozy though like it doesn't feel like it's overwhelming to the eye at least for me personally I would be able to be up here again as long as there's no strobe lights which I'm hoping there isn't but technically if I'm making the club there's not gonna be any strobe lights because I say what goes so and here I go putting these curtains again um, just to add some more rainbowness colorfulness to the walls you know and it's not just all black i swear this is the one build you hear me saying let's make sure that everything is black because i love the color black and i would make an all black house in a heartbeat cough cough this build right here last but not least i go upstairs and i start doing the personalized space for the workers so i started off with the bathrooms i wanted there to be showers and stuff because sometimes you don't want to wait to shower at home so you can go up here shower get all the gunk and stuff off and honestly this is also a useful lot for or if your sim is partying and they need a place to nap or they need a place to shower you know you got these showers here and I'm pretty sure with these university ones multiple people can shower and they won't get embarrassed I think so not 100% sure but that was my reasoning for putting these ones in here with this space particularly I did a lot of blacks and golds again similar to the downstairs the downstairs area for the workers I wanted there to be a break from all the color it could just be a lot overwhelming but I also wanted it to be shown that the staff is really taken care of here they're really loved they're really cherished so you got two toilets in here we have areas to wash your hands only one but it, it's okay and then you'll see once we get out of this bathroom we have literally a whole setup so tables so people can eat um, place to watch TV get their fun up if they just don't want to be in the main area anymore and they have a place to cook some food okay cook for themselves so I really decked it out here I put a lot of artwork in here and just try to to make it as comfortable as it could possibly be i want it to just show that they are loved for they are cared for and that they are appreciated for the work that they do i wish not all places are like that but i pray you're working at a place that is like that <laughs> so i put some big windows here again i want there to be windows in certain places that i can put them so i just put them on the side wall you put some curtains up and just some comfy seating so really just a place to hang out to really relax you know if you need a place 
to nap and you don't want to be around all the loud music you can come up here if you want to watch tv instead if you want to just take a freaking break you can just come upstairs and take a break your sims can also do this in actual gameplay so i think it's perfect um and your sims can come up here cook some food you know your sims will be taken care of on this lot that is for sure i wanted to put some plants in here and just make it really decorated really cute um and just make it seem like people do come up here and choose to come up here you know it's not like they're forced to this is where they can take their breaks at this is where they can feel comfortable safe at and not have to deal with the clients all the time you know you need a break sometimes and so i did a little bit different curtains these are a little bit more sheer they can look outside they can have some sunlight coming well some moonlight coming in i guess <laughs> and then i put a bunch of gold black and white pictures all around so you see me using tool mod to resize everything all the pictures that don't have frames around it i did the same frame technique that i used at the end and again i think this place just came out really cute and really perfect so this is the end of the build i hope you guys enjoyed it i am struggling to speak english right now but all in all thank you so much for watching let me know if you enjoyed these speed builds and i would love 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 to hear any suggestions any comments or anything you have down below thank you so much for hanging out with me today and i will see you guys at the next one bye my earth angels